Well, Hipsley and Co, welcome to your weekly video. Welcome to Leigh and Co, and on this week's video, we are culminating our month of April. Yes, and with this culmination, we are finishing our topic of let's build a business. We've been discussing this topic for a couple of weeks now, and we wanted to end this video with something very important. Just like we talked on last week's video about the importance of expanding, this topic for this week is just as important and it is your capability of reinventing yourself. Yes, when you're in your successful business, when you started your successful business, when you're in the pinnacle of that success, you'll find yourself comfortable with that success. And that is something that could work both in favor or in disfavor for you. Because you'll start to feel that you've just peaked in your business, that you don't need to uh, achieve more goals, that you don't need to put in more time or more effort in your business. And this is when the reinventing part comes in. This is something that not only helps you, it all helps your clients helps the people that you give your service to because it gives that refreshment it gives that new sense of energy that new the new beginning in some sort it still means that you keep your essence of your business it keeps you focus it keeps you on what's important but it's good to have that opportunity for you to do and explore something new for your business for your brand and one example I can give to you about this, if you look at companies that have withstand time 50, 60, 70 years throughout their journey in their business, throughout their journey in their success, they have found themselves reinventing themselves. Not changing who they are, but reinventing the way that people see them, reinventing the way that they give services just to be in the pinnacle of success, to be on the top. One example that we can give to you is the Walt Disney Company. Yes, we have all know this company. It's been around for many, many years. But with something in particular that is easy to see this is their personal brand. Let's talk about someone of their personal brand, their most famous character, and you could say is the image of the company. Yes, it's Mickey Mouse. If you see Mickey Mouse throughout the years, he's been reinvented, but has maintained his essence. From the first Mickey Mouse that we found ourselves in the 1920s to the Mickey Mouse that we have now on the 2020. It's still Mickey Mouse, it's still a mouse, but throughout the years he's changed and he has reinvented himself. And people have been along the ride. People have still looked like the brand, but this has helped the brand to have a refreshment, to do new things, to explore, to reinvent their image and reinvent the way that they give their service. And just like the Walt Disney Company did, you have the power to do it. And this is one of the main things and most important things that you should do when you're successful in your company. This does not have to mean in your first, second year of success, but this could be something that you put on as a goal in your plan. After five, 10 years, when you have a solid base, when you have a solid clientele, when you are in the pinnacle of your success, maybe it's time for you to reinvent yourself and establish future goals. So this is something for you to keep in mind. I hope this month's topic has been useful, has been a great part of deal when you want to start a business. So visit our YouTube channel for these topics and other very interesting topics. But always remember to stay safe, stay healthy, and always remember to have that king mentality.